Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's today in light and Monday, 13 November, and I hope you had a nice weekend. We're sponsored by Advanced by Signify, the name and quality lighting components. Here are the stories making news. On Friday, we sent our designing lighting newsletter, The Spec, recapping IALD and Light in America's conference. Also featured was my conversation with Kelly Roberts, in which we discussed her new company, Primary Arc Design. And today I host the NLB's Let's Talk About Light and Health series. This is in collaboration with Mount Sinai's Light and Health Research Center. Today's session deals with residential luminaires approved for circadian health. Energy Focus released its Q3 2023 financials, revealing net sales of 1.3 million, a 24.1% year-over-year decrease primarily influenced by a 61.3% decline in commercial sales. The Guardian recently explored widely disliked overhead lights, shedding light on their unflattering effects and negative sentiments. In the article, Dr. Mariana Figueroa weighs in on the potential disruption of circadian rhythms caused by these lights. Esmond Technology announced the launch of a new emergency lighting brand named Outage Master. The new brand offers emergency lighting, exit signs, and emergency inverters. Details at edisonreport.com. On Friday, the Dow was up 391 points. NASDAQ gained 276 points, but Osram dropped 4%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great week. Pray for peace.